All right, so at this point, you're probably asking yourself, why do you ever need to know binary? And it might seem to you like binary is something you'll never actually have to use in programming, and the truth is, if all you plan to do is learn a language or make very simple applications, then you probably don't need to learn binary. But the ability to actually make things requires that you understand binary for many reasons, and I want to explore some of those reasons right now. It is important to understand that everything in your computer is encoded in binary. Everything that is encoded in binary, like movies or music or anything at all, is done so according to extremely specific requirements. Now I want you to understand a bit about how this works. Okay, so the first example I'm going to show you is a BMP file, which is a very basic kind of file format that you use with a graphics file. In other words, if you open up Paint and draw a picture one of the ways you can save that picture is a BMP file. Now, below you see a stream of ones and zeros. I want you to imagine that this is the start of a BMP file. Don't worry about what these ones and zeros actually mean. I just want you to understand that every BMP file is a stream of ones and zeros. Every BMP file also follows a specific data format, which is that the very first two bytes of any BMP file will specify its format. Now, remember that a byte is 8 bits, or 8 ones and zeros, so this is 8 ones and zeros, so that's 1 byte. This is 8 ones and zeros, and that's 2 bytes. And the first two bytes of any BMP file will specify the format of that BMP file. The next four bytes of any BMP file will specify the file size. So if you don't understand binary, then you will have a more challenging time trying to follow data formats that require you to express values in binary. For example, before you can save your BMP file, you're going to have to specify how large the file is in binary, and if you can't do that, your BMP file simply won't work. Many format specifications you will encounter require knowledge of binary in order to write programs that can produce or read that type of data. Well-designed data format specifications often use binary values in various ways. This is especially true any time within the format that some quantity has to be known, like in our last, last example with file size. Almost all of those quantities are going to be expressed in binary because it is the shortest and fastest way that any value can be represented on your computer. The next reason you should know binary involves understanding something called flags. Flags are representations in binary of several true or false states of something. Now, let's say, for example, that you are designing a game and you need to keep track of the true and false state of eight different weapons which may or may not be in your inventory. Alright, so let's say you are designing a game and you need to keep track of eight different weapons and whether or not they are in your inventory. How can you do that? Well, if you understand binary, you can do that with a single byte. 8 bits. Each position can represent a given weapon, and then it's simply 
one, you have it, and zero, you don't. So, for example, we have uh, the first bit is our fist, the second bit is the knife, and so on. So, in this example, if you want to add a weapon to your inventory, you simply change a zero into a one. So once your character discovers the shotgun, this particular bit becomes a one, and that's, that's how you do it. So flags are everywhere in programming. You will run into flags often with data formats, and understanding how they work and how to turn on and off binary values is extremely important. You will run into plenty of cases where source code you read contains advanced operations on binary data. And without an understanding of how to count in binary, you will be unable to properly understand this code. There are many applications that I can explain to you about why understanding, is bi why understanding binary is important, but I want you to be familiar with at least a few so that as we get into advanced data formats later on, you will be prepared.